Presently, there are no nuclear power plants in Ghana, even though Ghana's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, set up the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission in 1963 and initiated plans for the Ghana Nuclear Reactor Project on November 25, 1964. Despite the importance of power generation to the development of the economy, Ghana has largely focused on hydro and thermal generation. The Ghana Atomic Energy Commission plans to start building a nuclear power plant to be completed in eight years. The government of Ghana has demonstrated some commitment to the development of nuclear power as an environmentally friendly energy source and is undertaking preparatory steps for nuclear energy generation. Nuclear energy is seen to be a very efficient energy option as it is one of the most low carbon energy sources. It also has one of the smallest carbon footprints and it is one of the answers to the energy gap. It is essential for the world's response to climate change and greenhouse gas emissions and is reliable and cost effective. Inasmuch as this energy option has its advantages, it has its downsides too. Waste from nuclear plants is radioactive and safe disposal is very difficult and expensive. Local thermal pollution from wastewater affects marine life. Large-scale accidents can be catastrophic. Public perception of nuclear power is negative, while cost of building and safely decommissioning are very high. Speaking to City Business News on the sidelines of a workshop organized by the Ghana Journalists Association in conjunction with Nuclear Power Ghana on Nuclear Energy, Dr. Seth Kofi Debra said Ghana has to focus on an effective energy mix. I'm not saying we should forget about whatever we are doing and go nuclear. No, that's not, that's not what we are saying. We are saying that see nuclear as a viable option such that you will include it in the things that we are doing and things that we are building. So, solar will be there, wind will be there, you will have the thermals, you will have the hydros, you will have the mini hydros, but also focus on an energy source that is dense, also focus on an energy source that has high capacity factor, that has high availability factor, so that you can actually power your industries. And that's what we are saying because with the current the current portfolio that we have you see if you listen to a hub very well you will have the hydro providing energy to the vehicle why do we do that why don't we use panels to do that why don't we use thermal to do that because thermals on its own is expensive 